Hello friends, welcome to volume two of Nashville Shopping List, where we go through everything that has been released for the Nashville needlework market coming up at the end of the month. We have some awesome things to show you today. Four new lineups from four different designers. So much good stuff. But first of all, hey, happy Groundhog Day. If you haven't heard yet, our beloved animal meteorologist, Puxatani Phil has predicted an early spring this year. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> From the bottom of our hearts um, to your tiny groundhog heart, uh, we are happy to have the prediction of an early spring. Uh, we, we will ignore your um, accuracy rating and just give you a little kiss on that brown groundhog nose. And I saw my first robin outside just this morning. So things are looking up, folks. Let's cheer ourselves up with looking at some happy new cross-stitch designs. The first designer we're going to start with today is Lindy Stitches. That's me. <laughs> Come look at my new designs. We'll start smallest to largest, shall we? First up is Queen of Thread. This is an adorable little design which I created with overdyed flosses uh, with this adorable little queen stitching on her big old fat tomato. <laughs> this is stitched on 36 count uh, mini dot white with basalt dots from uh, Zweigert. And there are two different overdyed sets that you can use for this design. One is the Hearts for Pam Cottage Garden Threads uh, set and those are going to Nashville. Uh, Lindy Stitches is not able to pick those up at this time, but you can use that thread pack for this design and the information is on the back of the pattern. I also created a Weeks Dye Works Classic Color Works conversion for the overdyed threads. And of course you get the DMC. So you kind of get a total slew of thread options for this design but this is Queen of Thread. I stitched this model myself and it was a lot of fun. And I just made it into an adorable little hang up with this measuring tape ribbon. So that is design number one from Lindy Stitches, Queen of Thread. I absolutely love the next design and it is a collaboration with a piece of artwork from an artist I am a patron of. Her name is Hannah Detterbeck, and she is a young artist whose style I have loved for a long time. I will show you just some examples of her art. Uh, these are postcards that I got in her Patreon postcard club. But sweet, sweet images. I think this one is my favorite. Sweet colors, um, just heartwarming artwork. And I saw this piece that I she ended up giving me permission to use. Knew I wanted to chart it, and it turned out amazing. It is called Wizard Cat. And this is what it looks like. So I charted this from Hannah's artwork. It says, your sadness will pass, my friend. So uh, he's predicting a little bit of your future. I just thought this was encouraging. I love how um, charming it is and, and sweet. And yeah, I hope you like it too. <laughs> This one is uh, really fun to stitch. It's like a coloring book. Uh, you can stitch the uh, outer black lines and then the black lines on the border are created with just some back stitches and boy is it fun to put those in too. So this is Wizard Cat. I charted this in Cosmo Flosses. Uh, it's a really, really gorgeous thread pack, but of course there is a complete DMC conversion if you just like to use your DMC thread stash. So that is Wizard Cat. And thank you so much Hannah for letting me use your artwork. The last two patterns I have to show you from Lindy Stitchers are both animal menageries, my favorite type of needlework sampler. As many animals as you can give me on one piece of needlework, the better. I I want them all, okay? Next is Beachcomber. And this is what Beachcomber looks like. <laughs> so for my fellow mudlarkers, here we go. Comb the beach 
For a treasure with me, my heart belongs beside the sea. And we have a beautiful whale and some awesome beach paraphernalia, uh, a puffin, a sea lion. So this pattern was specifically created to honor the West Coast for my first trip to Portland and acorns and threads. And so I do get this question, uh, what are these numbers for? That is the zip code for Portland. <laughs> if you would like to change it to your own zip code, no big deal. Uh, but that's what those numbers are. And yeah, this is mostly created with DMC, but this blue is a dinky dyes, and this box is filled in with a great white from Classic Color Works called Lighthouse. And I, I loved how that turned out. Also, I think my first chart with beads. Uh, this has three different Mill Hill uh, colors of beads on the top. Uh, but you could definitely just use some old, like, beachy colors from Mill Hill kits that you've done and you have those extra little packets of beads. Anything white, cream colored, silver, uh, a little bit pink, anything that would be a nice beach rock color, you could just use leftovers um, from your stash. But this is a very fun pattern. I love how it turned out and it's called Beachcomber. Last but not least, the largest and uh, my favorite piece that I'm releasing this spring. This one is called Let Every Creature, and you might have contributed to this sampler. I was designing it maybe early summer last year, and I got on my Instagram and told me, I told you all, uh, suggest an animal for me to chart on this great animal sampler, and I got the suggestion of Moose from Abby Top Knot Stitcher, and I don't know who else really. Um, she's the one only one I remember off the top of my head, but others uh, put forth suggestions and I just put them on in and it turned out into an adorable menagerie. Uh, this is Let Every Creature. Love how it turned out. <laughs> yeah. So we have the sun and the moon and some stars on the top, an eagle, a raven, some gorgeous flowers, a lemur, a sloth, wow, a lyre bird, just so many awesome creatures, an Oreo cow, <laughs> a cheetah, a blue-footed booby. This is so much fun to stitch. It's on one of my favorite mint fabrics, Spending Amnesia by Mystic Fabrics, but you could use your favorite mint or even your favorite blue or neutral would be just fine. This is a very fun sampler. It's just delight after delight, and I think it makes just an adorable thing to hang on your wall. So the verse in the middle is from Isaac Watts. Uh, it's from a hymn, and it says, Let every creature rise and bring peculiar honors to our king. And I was doing some reading of some older authors uh, some time ago, and I noticed that they used the word peculiar in a different way than what it means to us today. Uh, it doesn't mean odd or strange. Back then, they used it more to mean specific. So the specific gifts and talents and glory that belong to you uh, and that belong to each animal um, in their peculiar, unique ways. I, I love thinking about that word in that new way, and so I decided to use that verse for this animal sampler because I love animals. I think they all have their own peculiar, unique sense of glory and beauty. And humor, if we're talking about the blue foot of booby, definitely humor. <laughs> Love animals, and I'm really thankful for how great this turned out. So this is Let Every Creature. And for the first time ever, Lindy Stitches decided to make some floss tags. And those also turned out uh, really cute. So those also will be available as well as the fabrics and floss packs on my site or from your favorite online or local needlework store. 
got out the computer, you know what that means. We have three more designers, complete lines to go through and drool over. Am I allowed to have favorites? Let's start with the artsy housewife, beginning with Abalonia's apple tree. Take a look at this fox sitting under her glorious apple tree. This is absolutely wonderful. This pattern comes in at 170 by 175, so not huge, not undoable. It's stitched on 36 count old gold by Fiber on a Whim using classic color works, general arts, and Weeks dye works. Absolutely love it. Next up is Geraldine's Flowers. Okay, a bear named Geraldine? Sign me up. This bear is so cute. She's carrying this um, beautiful basket of flowers just for you that she picked probably from your own garden. This one measures 151 by 191 and it's stitched on 40 count straw by Weeks Dye Works and has a variety of over dyes. Next up, Mellow Yellow. Stitch this up and let people wonder whether you inherited it from some awesome relative, whether you picked it up at the thrift store or whether you stitched it yesterday. This one has such a wonderful vintage retro vibe. I absolutely love it. It is 99 by 133. So all three of those are what I would consider medium sized stitches, not too bad. Next up is Vicious. Do you have a cat like this one? <laughs> I love the just self-satisfied look on this cat's face after it took out its feline wrath upon this plant. This one is 127 by 101, stitched on Zweigart Dirty Linen with a variety of over dyes. And then lastly, we have two designs celebrating the wonder and the glory of coffee, starting with Gorgeous. This one's 109 by 103, this very satisfied uh, gorgeous crow celebrating her morning grog. Uh, and then we also have You Got This, a motivational owl to accompany your brew in the morning. Absolutely adorable. 91 by 89, so that one doesn't even go over 100. Those are the awesome new releases from the Artsy Housewife. I really, really, really love them. <laughs> Next up, let's do Primrose Cottage. Wow, Primrose. Really bringing in a lot of awesome designs. First up, we have Fourth of July Rules. This is a patriotic vertical design, uh, having all different patriotic sayings, letting you know all the things you should remember about the Fourth of July. Uh, that one measures 64 by 290, so a Nice vertical stitch. And we haven't added Primrose designs to our website previous to this market blitz. And I couldn't help but notice they're all stitched on light top or top Lugana. So that's interesting. Maybe if you're a Primrose fan, let me know in the comments. Is this like a, a across the board kind of thing? I, I was intrigued. It's an interesting design choice to just stick with the same color. I, I kind of like it. I dig it. Next up, we have Patriotic Quaker. This is in their Quaker series. A lot of people love these Quakers. 82 by 79 and a delightful little stitch. That one is accompanied by uh, their red, white, and blue quilt design. This one would be so quick to stitch up, and as soon as you learn that little pattern, you could just take it anywhere and finish it up. It would be great for a smalls exchange. This one is only 65 by 65, so really, really cute. Well, speaking of cute, here's 12 monthly minis, all 12 in one package. This is a great little book. It contains designs only 39 by 39. I mean, that's like what? One night of stitching, 39 by 39. These are adorable, super cute. And there's one for every month. And so it'll basically keep you stitching all year long. Little White Christmas contains three different Christmas designs. This one is by Katie Rogers. And the stitches aren't that big. Uh, the biggest one is Peace on Earth, which measures 69 by 71. So these are 
uh, relatively quick stitches and you get all three designs in one package. Last up, I think my favorite, he's pretty jaunty. He's pretty cute. It's the 2024 Primrose Cottage Snowman. Um, yeah, I really like him. He's 77 by 68. I feel like I'm talking really fast. Am I talking too fast? I'm sorry. I'm just really, really excited about all things Nashville. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go through uh, Nikki's creations. Here are her beautiful contributions to Nashville 2024. I'm really loving, I'm really loving them. Here is Summer Village. This is Nikki's Village series. I adore this. Can you just look at the row on the bottom for me? Because the houses are adorable. They're quirky. They're cute. They have birds on top of them. But look at the bottom. That row of ducks and fish. Ugh. So, so nice. <laughs> uh, and then accompanying that one is Winter Village. And what is with the bottom bands? Why are they so intriguing to me? This is so cute. Um probably the same size. Honestly, we don't have stitch counts for these patterns yet, but we're going to fill them in as soon as we find them out. Uh, that's Winter Village. Absolutely adorable. I dig it. Uh, next up is Halloween Hen. It's so great. <laughs> and we also have uh, Liberty Hen. I'm speechless. Uh, lastly, we have Sheeping Sampler. This is an adorable little pattern that you could make into a bag if you wish, um, or a sampler. It looks like a relatively quick stitch. I love it. And that's what Nikki's creation is, is doing to us. Really. We're victims here. I mean, aren't we? Oh... <laughs> uh... These things are so great. Okay, what jumped out at you? Because I'm really, I'm really loving Geraldine's flowers. I really, that summer village, it's just getting me. And that Primrose Cottage snowman, I think I'm going to see his face in my dreams tonight. Don't forget that you can go on lindystitches.com and you can click the little heart on the top of any of these products to save them to a wish list. Don't forget to put your email into the wish list system and it will automatically keep track of all the things that you're interested in because there is so much more to come. Now, Lindy Stitches is not necessarily listing every single product coming out at market, nor are we listing every single vendor because at some point we need to sleep at night. <laughs> but we're listing as much as we can and I hope that I hope that you're excited of just I hope you're ex I hope you are as excited as I am. I'm so excited I just can't even speak. We might even need a midweek volume three because things are going to be coming quicker and quicker and hotter and heavier into my email and you my friend need to keep up so we might need to meet next week in the middle losing my powers of speech maybe i need to go stitch some ducks i will catch you next time friends thanks for catching up with the nashville needlework shopping list happy friday and happy Groundhog's Day, and happy early spring to the both of us. Cheers. <laughs>